still took set out of Velia, so he still can make it. Also, auto proclaim Fox Slayer with his Dr. Mario, one of the best Dr. Mario, the best, the best Dr. Mario in France, one of the best in Europe, and we'll see what will happen against his opponent, Kid Candy. Kid Candy does not have that many experience, I would say, against Dr. Mario. He's a less experienced player than, uh, than Jim, so we'll see. We'll see. It's not an easy matchup. Dr. Mario will need to really take care of, uh, of Fox. The point is, when he's off stage, Fox can be really wrecked off. And Jim is super nice at taking the edge and keeping it. He's really, really good with that. He's super nice also with approach. He's good at mix ups. He's good at just making pressure by movement, the placement. Movement, spacing, just turning around his opponent, making a weird approach and making those kind of movements. Just jumping, making the side B on the other side just to delay a bit his landing and then just fall down fast fall back air stopped it. As that happened by Kid Candy, that too bad. So yeah, I love the, the dog of the gym because it's really just mobile. Throwing pigs a lot in, the, in certain ways, but also sweet patient, never, it's like Jim is like quite everything. If Jim plays more, if Jim could play more, more and more and more and more, and he's got like, I think he's got a hand of people helping him to improve his dark. I feel like Jim got a got a way, got a huge road of improvement. Like really, he's one of the players that gets one of the best men mental mental mentality in the defense. Uh, I'll be honest, never give up, always in, always want to do stuff. It's definitely one of the best in that uh, in that uh, in that uh, in that matters in that regards. So two stock one, though that C could have been two stock each, is bad. So we'll see. That was con I can't really give a uh, uh, flow uh, default about Jim play. Like maybe it's just make trying to read too much but at some point you really need to read and these dudes are kind of smart and not really the ones that are easy to, to punish you with so oh, okay try to drift back to avoid a force match and punish it to it worked out but uh, never mind never mind so yeah I can't really say any flow it is uh, it's flawless can I say that it is flawless anyway I can't say bad points this uh, this play. Maybe game plan. Maybe is his game plan at some point. Maybe he's doing too much of the same thing uh, in, the, in, the, in the match that he face. So maybe he's really good against spaces, but a bit, a bit worse on the other other matchup. I would say I don't know. I can't really tell. Ah, a big can tell missed. But I'm telling you that guy is good. If you face Jim, if you face Jim in the tournament. Don't sleep on him, don't sleep on him, don't want to sleep on him, I'm telling you. This guy is always under the other uh, players, I would say. It's always a close set, close game, and always really close to catch them. And also the minty of that event, and the minty of the master, if you didn't hear about the master, that's gonna be a huge element in the south of first one, but yeah, we'll talk about it later, but uh, voilà. And at the beacon channel right now, already the pills to cover the take shit just in case. And this, he knows his pills really well also. He knows how to cover as you can see. Like the fox was under, he make a bit of cover under the platform. If the fox was uh, above, he make a pills that bolts a bit, uh, a, bit, uh, a bit above to reach the, the fox on the platform. And all these pills and this weird stuff. Picking uh, Pokemon Stadium is as good ID as the worst ID in the world because Jim know his pills as a master, man, as a master. He's a magician with his pills, a magician. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. It's like the weirdest stuff I've ever seen with his pills on the stage. You know, all the bounds, all the weird angle we need to throw the pills to get them back, get a shield of pills, get two of the pills in the row. 
is weird. Dr. Mario, I'm telling you. He knows weird stuff. That's maybe also one uh, one bad point of genius. He knows weird stuff. Not as it is bad point, that's when you know. He knows first the weird stuff and then the important stuff, I would say. He's always looking for solution, always looking for improvement. Man, I love that player, I love that player. I think you fit it somewhere. So sorry not talking about the game at all, just talking about Jim. But we'll see Dr. Mario Fox way during the tournament. And you'll see Jim way during the tournament also. So I'll do time now because it's cool. Nice slash dash, turn back throw. Oh, Mr. Fair, don't smash right after. And nice back here. Nothing is done yet. Ah, those pills. Ah, those pills. 8% the pills. Take your medicine, Fox. Needs that. Get an headache. Take your pills. Oh, I give you an headache. Maybe because that's. Oh, Maybe because that's that, that. Damn, I missed my joke. I'm so mad. Maybe that's because of my pills. Okay. Look at the walls of the pills. Look at the walls of the pills. That's a wall. That's a wall, man. You won't get through, and if you get through, you can't go back. You're trapped. You're trapped. Ah, oh, my gosh. Nice, just waiting. <laughs> that tiny step. Ah, uh, Mr. Gins, I'll be, uh, I'll be cancel. Okay, okay. Back here. Ah, uh, let's dash Mr. Gin. Okay, 3 SD from uh, Kid Candy. Too bad, too bad, too bad. But still. 2 0 victory for Jim. Nice game. So, once again, sorry for not really commentating the game. I was more talking about Jim. Oh, je suis désolé, cul-cul-cul.